Welcome back to the channel. I know this is my second live stream today, but I did one earlier and um, I got quite, uh, well, I got some pretty disturbing feedback off of it. Um, so I wanted to do a little bit more detail on the topic of carpet stores and stuff like that, just to give uh, maybe some new beginners or guys that are just coming into the trade uh, a little bit of eye opening or something in case they're looking for work or something like that maybe they're wanting to go out on their own or something like that just some signs to by all means look out for uh, for stores that are not going to be good stores to work for um, I've had a uh, honestly I've only had one most of the stores I worked for in my career have been excellent and uh, just as the store right now uh, the gentleman definitely knows how to run a business. He is absolutely covered up with work all the time um, to the point he can't even keep up. He's running six crews and uh, just absolutely covered up with work, and that is because of his work ethics. Uh, you guys have seen videos of mine where I have, uh, maybe you have. If you've been following me for a while, I'm sure you have. How's it going, Sean? Thanks for joining, buddy. Um, about uh, how to have a successful install, you know, how to treat your customers, be good to your customers, and all that kind of stuff like that. Pretty much the same thing goes from the carpet stores to the installer's point uh, uh, side there. So um, things that you want to check out if you're going into a carpet store and you're saying, hey, uh, I'm, I'm looking for some work. How's it going? If you say, I'm looking for some work, wondering if you guys needed any installers, okay? Don't ever, don't ever call on the phone and say, hey, I'm looking for work or anything like that or email or whatever or Facebook them or something like that. If you're looking for work, you go to the store face to face. That way you can see the person's expression. You can tell a lot about what's going on with the person just by looking at their face and their expressions while they're talking to you, okay? Give me one second. I just got done unloading a bunch of sheet rocks. So, uh, if the owner of the store or whoever at the store starts talking to you like, yeah, they're like the head honcho around there and they may be all polite and stuff like that. And then somebody else, how's it going, James? And then somebody else comes up and starts talking to you like they're the head honcho. That's a red flag right there, okay? You only need one boss in the store. If you get two or three people thinking that they're the boss of the store, there's gonna be issues, okay? So that's the first red flag. If there tends to be more than one boss, keep your eye out for that, okay? Because that's gonna cause problems in the future. If you start working for the job, yes, you're exactly right. First impressions can say a lot. So, um, uh, like I said, see them face to face, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has a little bit of sense of, uh, thank you, uh, Carlos, I, I appreciate it, buddy. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, everybody has some sense of discernment, you know what I'm saying? They can tell pretty much what a person's about and stuff like that just by looking at their face while they're talking to you. I know I know. if I'm looking at a person and I'm talking to them and I'm, uh, I'm having a conversation with them, I can tell whether they're buying into what I'm saying or if they're sitting there waiting for me to get done talking so they can walk away or whatever. You can pretty much tell what a person's thinking by looking at their face when you're talking to them. So uh, definitely, absolutely go to the store and talk to them face to face. That way you can see what they're about, okay? Uh, if a person, if you do start working for a store, signs like whenever you first start, okay, if they don't want to talk to you over the phone, if you call them and you're on a job and you call them and you're having problems or whatever and they don't answer the phone, they want to text back, okay? Okay, that's cool. They want to text rather than talk. They might be busy. The next time if you call and they need to text back, Okay, it's getting a little crazy now. You need to stop texting like you're a little teenager and talk to me on the phone like a responsible adult, okay? We're all grown-ups here. We're trying to run a business. You're trying to feed your family. I'm trying to feed my family. Let's quit the little type texting like we're teenagers and let's talk on the phone or I'm going to come to your store and we're going to talk in person. It's going to eat up my day and it's going to eat up your day because neither one of us is going to get nothing done because we're running all over the store, running all over the country because you won't talk on the phone. i got to come to you and talk. Anyway, if a person does not want to talk on the phone and they want to do everything by text, <clears throat> that's bad news, okay? 
um, I actually had an experience like that uh, with a recent carpet store I was working with. The lady would not talk on the phone. Like, it was hard as anything to get the lady to talk on the phone with me. All she wanted to do was text, 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 text. Well, after it was all said and done, and um, I quit the store, she, I, I told her, I was like, all you do is text. You know what I'm saying? And she was scheming the whole time from the point I first started. She's like, yeah, because it's proof of my words. Well, you know what I'm saying? She already had a lawyer and everything going through her mind right off the bat before I even started working for her or anything. She's all texting because it was proof of everything that was being communicated between us. So watch that, okay? That's another thing. If anybody mentions lawyer right off the bat, bad signs, okay? Bad signs. Don't don't mess with them at all. If if you're going in there and looking for a job and they say, yeah, blah, 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 or if they start uh, saying, I'm having a hard time finding good installers or something like that, bad sign. You can find, how's it going, Alex? Uh, very unfortunate about what happened. What happened? That's that's horrible. That's what pretty much what inspired this right here. Okay. So, um, and also um, Smart Floors comment too. But um, snap! I forgot what I was going to say there. Uh, don't be afraid to turn down a job when it goes against the grain. Instead of give them solid reasons why you don't want to agree with the agree to do the job that's exactly right you, you, you guys have probably seen my video last uh, I actually deleted all of those videos that I recorded and stuff like that when I was over at that previous carpet store excuse me the lady just turned out psycho okay uh, lawyer this lawyer that I need to talk to my lawyer about this. I need to talk to my lawyer about that. You're not even supposed to take pictures on the job and blah, 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 blah. Um, I went out of my way, okay? I went out of my way. Y'all heard this before. And bought materials and bought materials for the job to do the job right to where I could feel satisfied about walking away from that job. <laughs> Didn't charge anybody any extra anything, okay? I'd done an extra day and a half of work uh, spent three hundred something dollars out of my pocket just to make the job satisfactory. Uh, what? What's this about this other lady? Never heard or seen of videos on it. Well, I deleted all the videos because uh, she started talking lawyer this and lawyer that. So anything that I recorded when I was uh, doing jobs that I subbed out from her, I deleted off of my channel. That way she had no reason to do anything. Anyway, um, yeah, texting, bad idea. If they're not responsible enough to talk to you on the phone, what, uh, just go on, do, do away with it. Don't even do it. Uh, one smart question, uh, that's awesome. That's really good. You need to treat them really good and always make them feel appreciated and make them feel that uh, they are doing excuse me, make them feel that they are doing good and are very appreciated, okay? Uh, Mo, uh, Adram, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. You always uh, tuning in and I appreciate it. Uh, the company I work for tells me to take pictures to protect myself and the company. My company is always with us, with us, the installer. Well, that's perfect that's exactly the way it should be the gentleman that I'm actually getting work from right now will have the installers back always and that you know I never noticed that until I got here uh, it was like that in Tucson too the the carpet store there you know that was a completely different situation the carpet store didn't pay me or anything I literally uh, got my or they furnished me jobs and I collected from the customer that was it and they always would have my back no matter what so that is the biggest thing installer and the store is communication you're exactly right on that Sean I love my business and respect flooring installers and enjoy your thoughts thank you Mo Adrian I hope I'm saying that right but uh, just like I've said in other videos uh, you're exactly right on that, John Chetwood. Not many people, uh, let me read that. Not many salespeople, uh, 
Thank you, Christian. I appreciate it, buddy. That's awesome of you. Uh, John Chetwood, not many, not many salespeople have a clue of what's to be done or customers until you educate them. You're the professional. It's your name and reputation. You're exactly right. And that's exactly why I went out of the way on that job that I'm talking about and spent money out of my own pocket and all that and like that. And the lady said that I was making her look bad and it hurt her feelings. It upset her and everything. She, she felt disgraced like I was doing something on purpose to make her look stupid in front of the customer. All I was wanting to do was do a good job, okay? So anyway, uh, uh, this, this topic is uh, signs of a bad carpet store for the new guys. So uh, um, ask them, say, uh, how long have your installers been here, okay? You can ask them that. That's an excellent question right there because if they're, if they're turning out installers, like if they're running through installers like they do their underwear, that's a very bad sign that something's going on inside that store that don't need to be going on. You know, there's very poor management. They treat their installers like garbage or something like that. If you go into a store, you guys heard me say when I was in Tucson, I went back and went back and went back, kept asking that store, you guys need any help? You guys need any help? Every time I would go there looking for a job, they was like, no, we've had our same installers 15 or 20 years. Bing, green light, okay? I wanna be there. If they have got good enough relationships with their installers that they can have the same installers for 15 or 20 years, A plus on that, okay? That's the kind of people you wanna get in and work for. And uh, uh, these people that turn out uh, installers like one right after the other, you know, there's new faces in the store all the time. You always got new guys coming in and starting and stuff like that and then you the next week you don't see them and a month later there's some more the next week you don't see them stuff like that that is horrible because that lets you know something is with the management something's going on right there the people don't know how to run a carpet store they're disrespecting their customers or something like that this lady over here that i was working with she said i have not had a good installer in like uh three years or something well there was an installer there i actually worked for that store Previously, for about four or five years, it was under different management, and that same guy was there that was installing there. He was installing there for 30 plus years, okay? And when the management shifted hands, they all of a sudden couldn't find any good installers. Everybody was quitting, everybody was doing stupid stuff on the jobs. The lady couldn't trust anybody or anything like that. Well, because nobody, uh, because they had a bad turnout like that ding 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 red flag okay something's going on people can find good installers uh she actually thought that it was a woman thing that i disrespected women or i didn't have a i couldn't work under a woman like i was i don't know a womanizer or something like i had a problem taking orders from a woman well i've been working under a uh this is the first time in about 10 years that i've actually subbed from a store that hasn't been ran by a woman, okay? The carpet store in, t in Tucson was daughter, mom, and grandma. It was run by three women. I was there for eight years. The other store like that, before that in Tucson was the woman technically run it, but it, uh, the, the guy, he was like there, you know, he was all whipped. But anyway, the woman pretty much uh, ran the store. So I would say both of them stores were run by women. Um, this is very true. I've been seven for the same store for 21 years, seeing all sorts come and go, salesmen and installers alike. Yeah, and um, that's awesome that you can be there for 22 years because that says something on your part. It says something on the store's part right there. Somebody's got to give, okay? Somebody's got to do a little bit of bending. Just because somebody messes up once or twice, forget it, okay? Now, this is this to help the stores too, okay? You guys do a little bit of bending, okay? Don't expect the installers to do all the bending. Uh, it's gotta be a give and take situation. The road goes both ways, okay? We ain't on no one way street here. Um, forgot where I was going with that. Anyway, the last comment of mine, uh, that's for you, Sean. Oh, okay, I installed when I was a kid so I can learn the process which makes me better. Uh, I hear you, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, if, if the carpet store just expects you to uh, give and give and give and give and never take any responsibility, 
responsibility of their own, then that's bad, okay? They, they, they're the boss. You know what I'm saying? Where is the carpet store if they don't have us, okay? Where's the carpet store if they don't have us? Yeah, I know. I know we're all installers. <laughs> there are a lot of new guys, though, that come to this channel seeking help and stuff like that. So if you notice the title of the video, New Guys, Signs for a Bad Installers. Uh, or signs for bad carpet stores. So this is things to look for if you are looking for a carpet store. Okay, ask the right questions. How how long have your installers been here? Uh, if there's two or three bosses, that's bad. Okay. If they won't talk to you on the phone, they want to text or whatever. Bad news. Okay. Um, the longer that you are in a relationship with a with a store, you know what I'm saying, subbing from a store or something like that. Um, the better it's going to be for the store and for yourself. So, uh, technically, the store does not want to, don't want to uh, go through people time after time after time. Or, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe if you're working by the hour or something like that, maybe they would want to do that. I, I don't know. It's just messed up. It seems to me like the, the people would want to have a good relationship for with their uh, installers. You know, I've, I've had two people kind of get choked up when I've left them, okay? Good relationships with people, okay? That's how it needs to be. You need to feel like your family. You need to be, you need to be like involved in it. It's just not a workplace. You need to feel like you're part of that, okay? That store needs to make you feel like you're part of it. If they're just getting you in and out to bring money off of you and that's it and, you, and it feels like that, that's not a good store to work with, okay? They need to respect you by all means, okay? Where's that carpet going to be? Where's that store going to be? What is that store going to be without installers? You know what they're going to be? They're going to be a building full of carpet. That's it, okay? No money coming in, no nothing. The carpet store is absolutely nothing without the installers. So they need to take that into consideration. I don't believe in the theory we will make it up on the next job. Sorry, because if it's a mess up, I have to make good now. So should the salesperson. That's exactly right. How's it going? Carpet man, I just now seen that. I haven't been looking at the comments too much because I've been rambling on there. Um, I appreciate you guys coming in here and putting your opinions and stuff like that in there. Like I said, this is there's a lot of young people that come on here. I get questions all the time through Messenger and stuff like that from young people that want to uh, figure stuff out. Just all the time asking me questions through messenger and stuff like that so i like to do videos like this to help them out i know somebody said a while ago you're preaching to the choir blah 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 right there we're all installers yeah uh like i said though there are a lot of new people that don't know these things we we us here that's been in the trade for 30 years or so like that 20 years 15 years or whatever we can lend a hand to those young guys so they don't make the same mistakes they don't have to go through the same hardships as we did because we've already been through it and there are people that do want to learn from stuff like that learn from other people's mistakes rather than make this mistakes theirself okay I know that seems a little bit contrary because as a young person we're like yeah don't tell me what to do I'm gonna make you know we don't really mean it but we're gonna make our own mistakes or we're gonna do it anyway no matter what anybody says well there are people that do want to make good business choices because I get questions all the time like I just said a while ago so People do feed off of this, and I, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate people that want to do better on their work and stuff like that. That is awesome. Stand your ground. Get respect where it's deserved. You've earned it. You're, res you're responsible after the fact for manufacturer specifications. That's exactly right. Uh, I just meant I wish the stores were listening to this, but we know they're not. Yeah, I think... I, I would like, I'm going to put a bunch of tags in here. That way, if people will um, will uh, Google uh, carpet stores or something like that, and I'm going to try my best to put a bunch of tags, uh, the right tags in here. So if they do uh, Google carpet stores or something like this, this will pop up because I definitely want carpet stores to see this because this, this, is, this is a two-way street, okay? Carpet stores, by all means... From what I've heard, just since I've been on here, uh, on not 
right now, but on the YouTube channel, you know, I think it's going on about three years. It was January of 17 is when I started. There's a lot of people been done wrong, been taken advantage of, getting treated like dirt because they feel like they have no other choice, okay? Well, it's it's not the case, okay? If You know if you're doing a good job, okay? You know if you're doing a good job. How's it going, Carpet Guy Set 1970? Thanks for joining, buddy. You know if you're doing a good job. If you're doing a good job, uh, period, okay? You can. You don't have to settle, okay? You absolutely do not have to settle. I don't trust the manufacturer. Carpet will come defective, and they will try to blame the installer. That's why I always take pictures. You're exactly right. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fallout was on that last carpet store that I worked for. Uh, that was one of the problems. Vinyl was defective. The lady said I tried to hide it. That was the big fat lie, okay? And like I said earlier in the live stream I did earlier, uh, the gentleman was standing right there. So anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to get off on that. I don't. I'm, I don't want to. I try not to dog nobody, but I have to give examples of what I've lived, or else I have no examples whatsoever. I don't. Uh, I just said the other day I always pull stuff from my experience and stuff like that when I was talking about doing videos on tools and stuff like that. I pull stuff on my own experience, okay? Uh, well, right, I've got 25 people here. You 25 people, go ahead and hit that like button for me if you don't mind. I appreciate it, okay? Um, everything I talk about, I pull uh, from my uh, my experience in the flooring trade. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Somebody's done it. Thank you for that. There it goes. Thank you. I appreciate that. I pull from the uh, 28 years that I've been doing flooring, I pull all this information that I share, which I mean, I shouldn't have said all like that because it ain't a whole lot. It's just what I've picked up. It's what I've learned over the years and to pass it on to the younger generation, like I said earlier, so they don't have to go through the hardships and stuff like that that we went through is it helps them out a lot. Okay. So let me, let me see if I can recap what we, what we went over there about uh, signs of a bad carpet store, uh, not communicating right. Okay. Pregnancy test is the oh is the work hard at mom and pop stores. I sub for Home Depot, and it sucks, man. I'm 21 and I plan on leaving early next year. Three dollars a yard, I ain't cutting it. Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, if you are going to work for a carpet store, the mom and pop stores are going to be the ones to work for. Okay, I have preached that from day one. I have only worked for a box store for one short brief period in my life and uh, that was for about a year and a half as soon as I went to Tucson I had to take what I could get until something better came along and then that was when I went to the other mom and pop store there where I just said I kept going and kept going and kept going and asking them if they needed work if they needed work and they was like no we've had our same installers for 15 or 20 years well that was bing 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 you know what I'm saying that was perfect um that's all good if you can get in if you're looking for a store or something like that and they tell you they've had their same installers for that long that lets you know that they are running their business smart they're running their business like they should um if they can't come to you when there is a problem if they like uh brush everything off and um like you do something wrong they don't say nothing to you you know if you do something wrong okay you know if something's a problem on the job or something like that if they don't say nothing to you that can be problematic too okay because what's going to happen is the next time something happens they're not going to say nothing to you and then the next time something happens they got all this tension built up because that's three jobs that they've done let boil up inside of them now they're going to blow up on you and chew your head off okay so if they don't come to you and confront you like a business owner should that's not a good sign either, okay? They need to keep the air clean between themselves and the installer. You need to do the same thing for people that work for you. If somebody's screwing around on the job, messing stuff up, you need to be sure to point that out and let them know. Don't let stuff build up to where you're going to blow your top off as soon as it happens four or five times in a row because all these emotions, all this stuff is built up inside of you because you ain't let it out, okay? Let that pressure off, okay? Don't let it all build up. What happens when pressure builds up? Beep! You blow your top, okay? So uh, don't let the pressure build up. The carpet store shouldn't let the pressure build up. They should They should be uh, 
man or woman enough. There you go. Communication. That's it, man. That has so much to do. Communication and respect, okay? You, uh, in the video that I did, uh, it's probably been about two years now. Um, uh, let's see here. What's the name of it? Um, oh, Common Tips, I think, for success, Successful Install or How to Have a Successful Install or something like that. I talked all kinds of stuff about um, how you should treat the carpet store, um, make them feel like uh, you're going to do anything for them and stuff like that. <sighs> Thank you. The carpet store needs to have that same mindset toward the installers, okay? They need to make you feel like uh, if you're having a bad day, it's okay, cool, you know, it's everything's understandable. They need to be throwing you little tips, little bonuses, little, you know, just a little something extra here. You know, I told, I talked about uh, taking a box of donuts or buying lunch for everybody at the store or something like that, okay? If you're a store owner or you're a boss, you should be this, doing the same thing for your crew. Make them feel appreciated. Make them feel like they are doing something, okay? Uh, all that stuff is two-way streets, okay? That's just not for... Uh, the installer to to the boss to the uh, store or to the boss or whatever which it it definitely needs to be from the installer to the store or to the boss or however it goes but it also needs to be vice versa the store needs to do the same thing to the uh, to the uh to the installer sorry about that you got me a little bit uh sidetrack there Wayne when I seen your thing there seen your comment uh, so yeah throw, throw your guys okay an extra five or ten bucks say here have lunch on me today or something like that if you're a carpet store give your give your guys a once a month or something just give them a gift card say here appreciate your hard work you know you're all you're here all the time all the time and stuff like that I appreciate it you know buy them lunch something like that the carpet store needs to do stuff like that I, I now listen. I'm not bragging, okay. I'm, I never ever try to puff my, puff myself up on here. I all like I said just a while ago. I only do what I do out of experience. I only say what I say out of experience. I have stuff that I've lived and stuff like that. Out of stuff I've learned on the job, okay. Today, uh, last night while me and my wife was out to eat, we went and ate at a Mexican restaurant. Before I left, I bought a fifty dollar gift card. This morning, I took it in there to the owner of the carpet store there. I was like, here you go, before anybody gets here. I give it to him, you know, before anybody gets here. If I was wanting to be puffed up and, oh, look at me, blah, 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 I would have waited until there was a crowd around and gave it to him. No, I was like, here, here you go, before anybody gets here, I want to give you this. He's like, what's that for? I was like, well, sometimes good things happen to good people. Well, I did, I said those exact words. He's already said that to me twice, and he's already hooked me up twice on particular things i've been here less than a year i've worked for him now uh i've worked out of that store now for about six or seven months something like that he's already uh uh what he do oh he gave me a blade just the other day 75 dollar blade i've seen it sitting on the desk goes to the 673 crane cutter i was like uh is this for sale or is it did you buy this for somebody or what he's like what is it i said it's a crane cutter blade He's like, oh, just make it disappear. You know, it's it's his store. It, it's everything there's his, okay? I was like, you sure about that? These things are 75 bucks. He's like, yeah. You know, sometimes good things happen to good people. He told me that. So that's why I done that. Uh, that's why I used those words. And um, I wanted to make him feel like I appreciated him. And it's it's okay, okay? It's not, it's not soft or wimpy or sissy or anything to verbally say, Man, I really appreciate you. You run the store good. I like the way you run the store. I really appreciate the way you stand up for your guys and stuff like that. I've never seen that out of any other store, okay? Say something like that. I've told that guy that two or three times since we've been here. I really appreciate the way you run your business. You're a good-hearted man. You're a kind-hearted man. And you care about your installers. You care about your customers. It don't make you a sissy. It don't make you a wimp. It, it speaks high volume, okay? It takes a bigger man to say things like that than... A, then it does be all grouchy and grumpy all the time. That's not a man, okay? Gropping about every little bitty thing. That that's the wimpy and sissy somebody that gripes all the time. Uh, uh, 
in Tucson, I did no staple down hardwood. Everything out there was on concrete, so any hardwood I did was glued down. When I moved back in town, he, he wanted to give me some uh, staple down uh, hardwood jobs. I, he said, you got a gun? I was like, no, I have to order me one. He went and bought me one, okay? Give it to me. He's like, here, this is all me. You know, uh, uh, nail down for three-eighths good, five-sixteenths and stuff like that. One of them the staple guns. I was like, Kurt, you sure about that? He, and he said the same thing, exactly the same thing. Yeah, sometimes good things happen to good people. And when I told him that this morning, when I gave him that $50 gift card, I said sometimes good things happen to good people. He's like, I've lived that, uh, I've lived that in my life for a lot of years now. You know what I'm saying? His dad told me when I first came here, I started at this carpet store, okay? When I was 19, I was working there. Yeah, exactly. I was working there um, before I even started. Like when I was 14, I was working for my wife's cousin and I worked there until I was uh, 19 and then I started working for myself at that store. So I've known, and, but his dad was actually owning the store at the time. Now he's running the store. His mindset of doing that um, check this out, okay? Everything what goes around comes around, okay? Some people call it karma. Some people call it good omens or whatever. But it's a fact. What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. That's no joke. That is definitely 100% fact, okay? He said, I've lived my life like that for a lot of years, okay? His dad told me when I first got here, or the first time I went in the store, his dad was there. I was like, boy, Kurt is doing really good at, for the store here, ain't he? I mean, the warehouse is packed out. I mean, packed out, full of pallets and everything else. Uh, just absolutely, you can, you can hardly even walk around in there. There's so many materials, so many pallets of LVP and wood, carpet and everything. I mean, you can tell business is booming there. The guy's running six crews and can't get everything done. You know what I'm saying? So he's absolutely covered up. I said... I told the dad, I was like, boy, Kurt is really doing good for the store, ain't he? It seems like he's absolutely booming. He's like, yeah, he, uh, I can't remember if he said tripled or quadrupled or whatever, but he said last year, I'll just say tripled. He said last year he tripled the biggest year we ever had, okay? What's that tell you right there? The guy's got a good heart. He does what's right, no matter if it costs him whatever out of his pocket. At the time, he always makes stuff right when it needs to be made right. And look at the benefits of it, okay? The guy made three times more than the biggest year ever. This carpet store has been in town for uh, probably over 30 years, okay? And he tripled the highest, the highest year ever, okay? I mean... If that ain't proof of what goes around comes around, and he said, I lived that way for many years now, okay? So that's a little bit of advice for everybody right there. Do what's right when it's right. Don't wait. Don't put it off, okay? If you see something a little bit wrong, I've preached this in multiple videos. If you see something a little bit screwy on the job or something, go take care of it, okay? Don't walk away and leave it. Oh, the customer will never know it, okay? It don't matter. It's all going to come back to you, so just do what's right, okay? You know if it's right or not. <clears throat> You're still working? <laughs> I don't know what you mean there. Yeah. Uh, Floors, you're absolutely right. And I've been missing out on that. I just bought a power stretcher like yours, Ruben. Uh, used it from a first time job yesterday, and man, it's sweet. Awesome. I think I seen a comment the other day. Uh, yeah. You're exactly right. This is work. Um, that's awesome, uh, Sean Tom, uh, Tomlinson or whatever. I seen a comment the other day where you said you just bought some or was just fixing to get some or something like that. It's it's the best way to go, no doubt about it. Power stretching is by all means the best way to go. Um, it's definitely a lot better on your body. And you young guys, if you're on here, take care of yourself, okay? It's all cool. It's all good right now. I used to, when I was younger, I would take rolls of carpet instead of jumping them up on my shoulder I would intentionally make stuff hard pick it up with my arms just like that you know just for the strain and stuff like that because it feels good to work hard do what's easy okay you're gonna benefit from it in the long run okay I'm 42 I'm fixing to go have surgery or whatever it needs to be done on both my hands okay I'm, 
I got an appointment Monday to have MRI done on both of them. So uh, take care of yourself. You don't want to be uh, feeling like you're 90 when you're 40, okay? Take care of yourself when you're young, all that good stuff. Um, well, I used to carry 25-foot rows by myself. I'm 37, and man, does it. Does my body feel it? Yep, you're exactly right, Sean Tomlinson. Tom, Tom, listen, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not very good with stuff. I've only, I don't know how many is on here, but I only went through the sixth grade in school. I don't know how many people know that. The customers will never know it. I had a guy I used, I used to work with who's been an installer for 12 years. He did a terrible seam and said, oh, well, the bed goes there anyway. Yeah, see, that's pathetic, man. I have literally walked out of jobs, van loaded and everything, turned around, knocked back on the door and said, I'm sorry uh, to bug you again. Can I get back in there for just a minute? I need to go do a little bit of something. They would have never known it. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep my own conscience clear, go back in there and tweak just a little something and make it just a little bit right, okay? It might be a little bit humbling to say... I should have done this the first time. I should have done a little better the first time. But, you know what? The customer's going to look at and be like, that gun, that guy right there's got integrity. He's got, he takes pride in his work. I like that. Which, if you're at the end of the day, they should already know that anyway. If, uh, if you do, people can spot that stuff. So, by all means, okay? Do what's right. That's, that's the best way to live. That's the best way to prosper. That's the best way to keep a good steady job if you have to eat a job every now and again excuse me for that i had to get that off my screen you know i've, I've been uh, about uh 28 years now i've been working for myself since i was 19 and i'm 42 so what's that 23 years i've been self-employed i yeah uh so let me see what that says right there guilty conscience when you say customer will never know that lays on your brain waiting for a call back you're exactly right and every time the phone rings you're gonna be like oh is that them it's just it's a lot healthier stress stress causes sickness stress causes depression all kinds of stuff live a live a guilt-free life and it's, you're gonna have a happy life i guarantee it okay it's a fact you can be sick literally stress will make you sick stress will give you cancer stress will give you all kinds of problems okay it is a physical thing it's not just a mental thing it will damage your body physically if you do top-notch job the first time I promise everyone that the word of mouth travels very far you are exactly right yeah uh, depression over a job absolutely sucks I completely agree with that so if you absolutely do your best I mean, just feel good about the job. That's point, period. Feel good about the job when you leave and there ain't going to be nothing about it, okay? Like I said, if you got just a little issue, a little tweaking issue or whatever like that, go back in there and do it. Uh, do it before you even walk out. That way you don't have to... Uh, it's okay to be humble. It's actually really good to be humble. Most people are not. Most people are too proud and arrogant to admit that they messed up. I mean, if something happens in a restaurant or something like that, Nobody takes the blame for nothing. You, you, somebody screws an order up at McDonald's. Well, blah, blah, blah. They done it or they done it or, or it's their fault or whatever. Nobody takes the blame for nothing. Be a man, okay? Be a man. It takes a man to be humble. It takes a man to say when they're wrong or not, okay? I'm serious, you guys. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I don't want, I don't want to preach like that, but it's, it's, the, it's truth, okay? You live a good, guilt-free life, and you're going to be happy, okay? Uh, I've had customers say things are good enough, but I can't leave it knowing it's not right. That is that is an absolutely good mindset right there. That's the way it should be, Sean. Skilled labor isn't cheap. Cheap labor isn't skilled. That's good. That's good. Thanks again, Ruben. You're a great leader. Uh, thank you, Smart Floors. I appreciate you saying it. Hey, if I mess up, my boss stands behind me. Well, that's good. He should. He should absolutely stand behind you. He should stick up for his guys. Every boss should stick up for the guys. That's that's a, that that's how it should be. Okay, you can't treat your guys like dogs, especially 
you know, you, just because they're not 100% all the time, are you 100% all the time? Okay? Think about that. How many times do you come to work where you don't feel like doing nothing, where you don't feel like jumping in there and hustling and hustling and hustling, flying here and get this job done real quick? Okay? Look at your own self. So, think about that whenever you're getting on your guy over there because he's moving a little bit of slow, okay? You do it too sometimes. We were talking about that today. There you go. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys come to the channel. I, I, I love the people that come to this channel. But if they... Uh, smart floors, there ain't no uh, filthy language or whatever on here. So whatever you put on there is, is hidden. Okay, I got all... Just so you guys know, I got all of my... I got every bad word that I could probably think of I do every bad word that I could think of is blocked from this channel okay because I'm a Christian and I don't like to read that stuff there's other people that get on here that don't like to read that stuff so everything's blocked so if you put something up that's got filthy language in it it won't show in my comments or anything so anytime if you guys want your comments to show up here or on the uh, just in the regular comments on my videos keep them clean or else they won't show up okay uh, customers we're selling the house uh, yeah I know so many people do crappy work because oh they're selling the house it don't matter uh, as soon as they sell the house I don't have to worry about it no more it don't matter <laughs> you still got to feel good about the job uh, it don't matter <laughs> it's okay smart floors it's okay <laughs> oh me uh and materials are expensive unfortunately too let's see here but eventually when you figure out you're making average nine dollars a yard because you care there you go that's good it's called integrity good point there mr clark appreciate you guys for tuning in there we got a we got 23 people here still we only got 20 thumbs up let's get some more thumbs up while you guys are on here if you don't mind I uh, hope you guys appreciate this. I hope you like it. Let's let's show that we like it and just push that little thumbs up there on the on the like button. Thank you, somebody done it. A few people just done it there. I appreciate that. Uh, Williams, David, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you guys for joining in. And I pointed it out twice here recently. This is the 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 um, smart floors can probably vouch for this because he's on some of the. Um, Thank you, Subfloors. He's on some of the same Facebook groups that I'm in, and so is Smart. Uh, so is uh, Subfloors, and you guys can vouch for me. I'm sure that this, these people that come here on this channel, are the most respectful and kindest people out of any Facebook group there is. I don't, I don't take any credit for that myself because it's not me. It's the people that come here, that. Are that way okay you guys are excellent people and you guys have a really good heart and you're really kind and all of that stuff so I appreciate you for doing that and uh, you might say well you got all the bad words blocked and stuff like that so it can't so you can't uh, you uh, people can't get on here and bad mouth and stuff like that or you probably block everybody that does well I'm gonna do a video on that real soon how many people I've blocked from my channel and why I blocked them and uh, and we'll see about that okay you guys might be surprised how many people I've blocked on my channel just from talking crap and stuff like that they're always haters yeah uh, fortunately the hater uh, a lot of people ref refer to YouTube as a cesspool that people are brave to put their work out there for the world to see them and stuff like that that's why I am so absolutely amazed and and proud okay I, and that might sound a little funny because i don't even know 99.9% .9 of y'all personally actually i only know one of you guys personally and that's nick from gold coast flooring but all of you guys on here are uh proud of all of you you guys always are really good and the lack of haters on this channel is absolutely awesome you guys will be absolutely amazed at how many people that I have blocked just from straight up 
some people do it okay and that's that's what it is so um, I have blocked a few people and I will show you guys not this video but I will show you how many people and I'll tell you why I blocked them uh, if you leave uh, a whole bunch of crap like that say this guy gets on here and he's just dogging and dogging and dogging he goes to another video dogging and dogging and dogging and then he goes to another video and he's dogging and dogging and dogging and then other people get on here somebody that's not even know that guy or anything else somebody else is reading through the comments and they see somebody that's dogged and dogged and dogged and then they go to another one they see somebody that's dogged and dogged and dogged that's an open door okay that that stuff spreads like a bad disease they're gonna start dogging so uh 99 well i don't know what i got 70 uh 7500 and some subscribers and i have not even blocked i've not even blocked 15 people okay uh, 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 I think if I ain't mistaken I've only had to block 11 people in 3 years out of 7,500 and something I've only had to block 11 people okay that's because this channel puts out positivity and it don't matter okay it don't matter what other people say what they do this channel is always going to do I don't know I don't want to even get all into that. But anyway, I've only had to block 11 people out of that many. Okay, so what I'm getting at is the people here are excellent, absolutely great people. Okay, and I really do appreciate you guys being uh, good-hearted people. Believe it or not, I have got a few tricks from you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Seth Flores. Oh, by the way, I absolutely... If you guys... I've had people talk about my... Uh, yeah, no thanks. Won't touch anything for four dollars a yard. I make four oh five a yard. Is what I make right here in Tennessee. Uh, thank you, Smart Floors. I appreciate that. Um, you guys, I've heard some people talk about my accent and stuff like that, and say that I, I sound country or something like that. Yeah, you think I sound country? Go check out uh, Sub Floors. <laughs> that guy um, definitely probably got the country accent I ever heard. I ain't, I ain't dissing. I think it's awesome. <laughs> uh, I love the way you talk. I appreciate it. I like it. I, I, <laughs> 450 a yard here in Wisconsin. That's okay. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Yeah, for real. Subfloors is a is, uh, country for sure. Subbing to subfloor now. Cool. Thank you for that, Smart Floors. I appreciate it. I don't know how many of you are on here that has not. Um, how much for laminate LVP and LVT? Uh, my prices are low right here in Middle Tennessee. I'm getting a buck, a buck a foot for that stuff. I don't hardly make nothing. Uh, so, trying to get into selling more of my own jobs so that I can make more money because uh, the prices here are not very good at all. I need to move then South Florida pays horribly. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that a lot of people pay really bad in Florida. Uh, yeah, I get a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. It kind of depends if it's click on glue down hardwood. I only get a dollar seventy-five, and that stuff is a pain in the butt. I only get a dollar seventy-five on that. However, some stuff pays really good. Some stuff pays kind of poor. But uh, those steps I did here a while back, <clears throat> I did a little video on uh, some hardwood steps. Uh, Ruben, what about your liability and workman's comp and supplies and expenses? What, what, what do you mean, what about them? What are you asking about them? Uh, I did a job here a while back um, on some hardwood steps, and um, those paid really good. So it depends on what it, what, what it is or whatever. Some stuff pays good. Some stuff pays a little bit better. So cost-wise, yearly. I have actually... Um, uh, I sign a waiver for my workman's comp so I do not have to have workman's comp uh, supplies um, most of my I haven't had to hardly buy any supplies because uh, I've been doing a lot of LVP and stuff like that so um, that stuff don't really take hardly anything um, I'm fortunate enough to where I have people uh, I hope this don't sound bad or anything like that but I've had people just from my channel send me boxes of stuff just because they appreciate my channel and they like what I do and stuff like that so 
honestly, I've not hardly had to buy any supplies since I've been here in Tennessee. And that comes from the great people on my channel. Okay. Uh, man, their stores down here paying a dollar eighty yard, nothing extra for furniture or design. Dang, that's that's bad. A dollar eighty a yard. I've not seen it that low ever in my life. Okay, I seen a dollar twenty five a yard when I was in Tucson. The people was talking about that whenever I, I was looking for work when I went to Tucson. And I was like, no, thank you. I passed it up. I would have rather went to work at McDonald's <clears throat> than to work at uh, installing carpet for a buck twenty-five a yard. That's it's too hard to work for that by all means. Uh, carpet install removal retailer supplies adhesive Ontario Canada two dollars square foot eight dollars a yard of carpet install that's awesome three dollars a yard I get two dollars a yard to take up glue down carpet for I think 450 to install glue down carpet 405 to install uh, stretching carpet but I've only I don't hardly do much stretching carpet anymore uh, and I complain if I get just three bucks a yard <clears throat> yeah there you go. As a matter of fact, I've got some work orders from the carpet store I was working in uh, when I first moved to Tucson. I keep some of those work orders just because whenever I do feel like, man, this sucks. I ain't making enough money. I go and look at what I was making there and then I feel better because I was getting paid, what, $2 a yard. That's, that's awful. $2 a yard can't make a living like that $50 minimums that was bad uh, I appreciate you guys commenting and stuff like that I love to go through here after I get done with every one of my live streams I always go back and look through here uh, I get a buck 20 or uh, dang I can't even remember now I think I think the guy paid 75 cents 85 cents or something like that for quarter round to install it um, if I do it for myself when I sell my own jobs here I do it for two dollars a two dollars a foot, but that covers paying for it and spray painting it white. Uh, one hundred and fifty nine dollar minimum. That's that's good. That's what it should should be somewhere in there. When I was in Tucson, it was one hundred and thirty, one hundred and thirty five. It kind of just depended what was involved in it. Uh, but that was just a minimum rate, and then anything extra would be added onto it. Like if there was a dang, that's awesome, Alex. Like if there was a 30 yards of carpet or something like that that would be a minimum of 130 and then if there was furniture all that stuff would be added on to it the, the 130 minimum rate would just be strictly for the install everything else would add on top of it so most of the time your minimum jobs would end up being 175 200 bucks or something like that anyway just because of tear out and furniture and stuff like that so Anyway, I hope some of I hope some of these guys. Uh, I'm gonna ask one more time here. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I got 33 people here. Give me a thumbs up right here if you, if you've uh, got any value out of this video whatsoever. Let me get a, a blue thumb from you instead of a gray thumb. I appreciate it. Hit, smash that like button. Uh, Ross Clark says $150 minimum here. That's that's good. That's awesome. Should be like that. Everybody should have a minimum. Okay. Everybody should have a minimum test. Uh, thank you, pregnancy test. I appreciate all of you guys been on here. I appreciate the uh, super chats. Um, I'm gonna see if I can scroll back up there. I can't remember who done it. Uh, I want to thank you again, though, personally. Uh, Christian Wilson gave me a ten dollar super chat. I appreciate you, buddy. He actually have messaged me today. I hope it's okay that I tell you this that I say this, but he is sending me, we was talking about the Teflon seam boards the other day, and he's sending me one. Uh, eight on a box of 13 on, oh, 18 on boxes, 13 on, I think he's talking about steps there. I get, uh, I think that's what uh, the guy's paying here. I haven't done much carpet, so I don't really know how much about the prices on carpet here, so uh, y'all forgive me for that. Anyway, thank you, Christian Wilson, for the $10 Super Chat and also for sending me the Teflon uh, seam board. I really appreciate that. That's going to come in really handy whenever I get it. And also, uh, Carlos Garcia, you gave me a $5 Super Chat. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I stated the other day I have, I only have uh, seven more shirts left. One of them is uh, 3X, two, uh, two of them are 2X, and then these white and yellow ones are extra large. If anybody uh, wants a Floors by Southern Boys shirt like you see me wear all the time, um, they are $25 Super Chats, or you can PayPal me uh, at floorsbysouthernboys at gmail.com. $25 if you want a shirt, and I will be happy to send you one. Um, um, I'm going to have to here sometime soon do a uh, giveaway. I haven't done one in a while. I'm going to have to get some stuff together here and get give something away. Uh, how's the Cool Glide working? Uh, I absolutely love it, buddy. I cannot. I'm actually excited about doing some more. Uh, I'll switch with you. Uh, are you talking about a shirt there, subfloors? Let's switch shirts with me. Uh, I'm fixing to type in my number for you right here, okay? That way you can have my phone number. Five two zero. I still got a my Tucson number. I don't want to get rid of it because so many people have my phone number. I want to keep it the same. Oops, sorry about that. I wasn't even. I didn't even click the cursor. Five two zero three five one. One, five, two, six. Okay, so there is my number. If anybody would like a shirt, uh, you guys can, like I said, super chat me, 25 bucks, or PayPal me 25 bucks or whatever. I, I can't, uh, I paid for them. I, I like to give stuff away. You guys already know that I give away uh, a uh, hundred dollar uh, a couple of uh, hundred dollar items and stuff like that look here this is another uh, uh, hundred hundred dollar item I'm fixing to mail out I should should have been mailed out today but I'm fixing to mail it out tomorrow I have given given away another do you have extra large I got four extra large lizard lick as a matter of fact I got two uh, I got two whites and two yellows right there. Um, I don't have any, uh, do you have two X's? Yes, I got two, two X's, I think. Let me double check right here while I'm at it. Um, I got, okay, this right here, this is a two X right here, this gray one is a two X. I don't have any smalls, I'm sorry, I got rid of uh, I had 50 something and I unblocked Cody. No, that's okay. And here is another 2X. I block people because they try to start problems or they do stuff. Cody was causing all kinds of problems the last time we was on a live stream, the last time he was here. And that's why I blocked him. I don't unblock people. Once they run it, they run it. That's it. So this is a 3X. I got two. Uh, 2x and the rest of these right here two yellows and two whites are extra large okay and i agree cody has a good question well maybe you can relay it from cody cody shouldn't have been talking about all that racist stuff and stuff like that trying to cause problems on my channel i don't put up with that stuff this is a good vibe channel okay you're exactly right cody was way rude and way out of line and I'm definitely not going to tolerate that stuff on this channel. He was straight up just trying to cause problems, talking about I don't see any Hispanic people on there, or I don't see any black people on there, or anything like that. No, I'm not dealing with that kind of stuff on this channel. Only, there you go, whoever said that, only good vibes. You're exactly right. Looky here, looky here. Look who come to see me. There's my buddy, you want to say hi? Hi. That's my grandson, Ashton. Just came gonna spend the night with this um, uh, in Roni that lizard lit in Roni uh, 
I don't know. Somebody else said something. Uh, actually, the guy that I interviewed right here here a couple of weeks ago asked me if that was Lizard Lake. Somebody. I don't. I don't know who it is. Oh, Cody has a good question. Okay, I guess you know him, but I. That's okay. Anyway, there's only good positive stuff on here. Okay, so uh, look at all the comments. Go look at all the comments on all 300 and something of my videos. You're only going to see good stuff, okay? Not, I promise, not that I go through there and delete comments and stuff like that. I don't. There's just good people here that join on this channel, and that's exactly the way it needs to be, okay? If you want to go, uh, uh, life proof is still good. Is life proof still good? Yeah, life proof is still good, Florian. I definitely still like it. What are your thoughts, sir? Life Proof is a good product. I know it is a Home Depot product and stuff like that, but I have installed several jobs of it, and it is a, it is a good product. Do you have a regular schedule for your live shows? I do not, not at the moment, uh, Mr. Clark. I sure don't, but um, just as soon as I get my studio done, I will be getting on a regular schedule and stuff like that. Whenever I do live streams, it's just because I thought about... Um, I have something I, I'm, I've been thinking about and I want to get it out and stuff like that just like I did here tonight talking about how to find a good carpet store or uh, signs of a bad carpet store and stuff like that lumber liquidator I've never had any good product at all come from lumber liquidators I'm sure you can see a lot of uh, comments on here about lumber liquidators is all bad stuff uh, see, look at that right there's one do not buy lumber liquidators or do any installs. Uh, thoughts on lumber liquidators? Did you finish that wall you were putting up that time? Yeah, I've actually got quite a bit of progress done. I actually went and bought, um, thoughts on super thick air layer of Sam's Club, etc. I have never bought anything from Sam's Club. Okay, I'm out. I'll text you. Thank you, uh, Subfloors. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I went and bought sheetrock today. As a matter of fact, uh, Lizard Lick. So I'm getting ready to put sheetrock up. And then after that, I can start using it. Even if I, I got... I got lights. Look. Stop. Hey, look. You guys, there's my daughter. There's, there's my two favorite women in the whole world. Right there. My daughter and my sweet FBSB. This is Kimberly. Hi. <laughs> and she is the proud mother of my awesome little grandchildren that you guys see sometimes uh, I'm going to do my own sheetrock lizard look I do, I've done all the work out there I've done my own wiring everything out there I do it all I don't ever hire nobody out if I need to uh, if I don't know something and I need to figure out how to do something there is this great there's this great uh, search engine called YouTube I will go and look up stuff on YouTube and I'll see I'll see how to do uh, whatever I need to do so that's how I figure out what I need to do and stuff like that um, uh, do you do electric I did my electric I don't do electric but I did do my electric I wired my plugs and lights and stuff like that actually I've got to uh, I bought my lights I haven't got them put up yet but I am going to be putting them up really soon because I do have my sheetrock now I had to get the sheetrock up before I can uh, put my lights up. I got all my wiring running and stuff like that, though. Uh, what's the hardest trade? I don't know, man. I've been in flooring my whole life, so I don't know who's going to put your new floor. <laughs> Funny. Uh, do electrician make a lot of money? I don't know, buddy. I don't know any. I don't know anything about any trade but flooring. I've been in flooring since I was 14 years old. Okay. Uh, floor guys can do anything. They uh, they learn. It is a very wide span. You learn a lot doing flooring for sure. So, um, gotta go take care and see you next time. Okay, yeah, I am the same way. I'm fixing to get out of here. Work on your band. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. My grandkids are here. My daughter's here and stuff like that. So, this has been a super long um, live stream. Anyway, let's see here. How long has it been? It's been 64 minutes. Uh, yeah, van. <laughs> it's been 64 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got $15 in Super Chats. Thank you, guys. That was super awesome. 28 thumbs up. If anybody's on here that hasn't hit the like button, 
hit the like button for me real quick before we get off here. Um, I appreciate all of you guys for joining in and for hanging out this long. That's super awesome. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. I really appreciate that pregnancy test. Um, f uh, 15, 15, well, I don't know what you're saying there, 15 hour. Uh, thanks for all you do, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Enjoy family time. Thank you. See you. All that good stuff. Yeah, I'm actually working tomorrow. We have a parade in town. Uh, you're welcome, Carpet Man. I appreciate you joining in. And I didn't even know it was here. It comes once a year, which this is my first year back. Uh, by sir. Shout out from Bronx, New York City. Oh, cool. Thank you from the Bronx. I appreciate that. Take care. Good night, everybody. I thank you all for tuning in. Anyway, what I was going to say, uh, there's a uh, blah, 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 blah. tomorrow, a parade in town, and I forgot about it, and I scheduled work, and after church, Sunday even, I'm going to go to work, so uh, been working seven days. This is going to be the third week in a row. Thank you, Christian. Again, I really appreciate it, buddy. That is $20 in Super Chaps. You guys are the bomb. And uh, Christian, uh, again, thank you for sending that in the mail. I can't wait to get it in and use it with my Cool Glide. But this is uh, three weeks in a row. I've worked seven days a week, so it's going to be time. I which I, uh, Isn't Sunday the day of rest for a Christian, sir? Um, rest is a type, okay? It don't literally mean not to do nothing. I don't want to get all religious on the channel, okay? Some people get offended by that, so we'll just keep it at that. Okay, um, I'm sure this is you, Jack, from Subflores. Just send me a text. All right, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. And until, thanks, uh, 31 thumbs up. I appreciate that. Until next time, FBSB is out.